Hey everybody, I'm Tim Ward and welcome back to Garden Sense. Before we dive into all the questions that you guys have sent me over the last couple of days, I wanted to stop and just say thank you to all of you for the amazing support that we've had over on Rosen's Online. Guys, heading into March, we were fully stocked in the Turf Trust fertilizers, Dimension, Gallery, and then we kicked off our Turf Trust Triple Play promotion. And I, I gotta tell you, the sales have been overwhelming. We have gone out of stock a couple of times on the fertilizers, on Gallery, and Dimension. And I keep getting emails from you guys, when is the Turf Trust Triple Play gonna come back in stock? Well, the good news is it is back in stock. We had a truck delivered, all of the products that we need. So if you head over to Rosen's Online right now, you can place your order for Turf Trust Triple Play because as you know, those products uh, are really due now in terms of when you wanna apply them to your lawn. So again, month of March has been absolutely amazing and that's because of you. We really, really appreciate your support. Uh, but enough about that. You guys are really here because you want to get some advice about some of the questions that you've been submitting to us these last couple of days. So without further ado, why don't we jump right in? The first question is from Donna. Hey Tim, what do you recommend to spray on the lawn to get rid of mosquitoes? So there's a great product by Summit called Mosquito and Gnat Barrier. And we highly recommend this product. And frankly, we, we sell quite a bit of it. What makes it so nice is it has a, a, an RTU, comes in an RTU bottle, which means ready to use. And all you have to do is screw it onto your hose. Uh, the, the calibrations of, of how much chemical to spray have already been done for you. And all you have to do is turn it on and start spraying your lawn. Now, what's interesting with, with mosquitoes, uh, you can certainly spray the, the, the ground because that's gonna get rid of, of ticks and ants and, and other types of insects. Uh, that are going to be on your grass. But you also want to make sure that you, you spray down things like, uh, like bushes, uh, the trunks of trees, even uh, you know, the, the, the vertical posts that might be found on decks and, and railings and things like that. Because that's actually, those vertical surfaces are where mosquitoes really like to land. That's where gnats like to land. So again, it is uh, mosquito and gnat Barrier by Summit, fantastic product, highly, highly recommend. And of course, it's available over on Rosen's online for purchase. So head over there, stock up for what you need for this spring and this summer. You'll be glad you did. The next question is from Valeria. Hey Tim, what can I do to bring these azaleas back? It looks like the deer may have gotten to some of them. Should I dig them up and plant new ones? Some branches are budding. So I definitely wouldn't give up on them yet for the simple reason that there's, there's time and expense in terms of digging them up, purchasing new azaleas, getting them back in the ground. The, the fact that you mentioned that they're already budding, that's a good sign. So if it were me, what I would do is actually just make sure that you get some garden trust down. Garden Trust has a, a really nice balanced profile that azaleas really like. So again, I would put down some Garden Trust uh, pretty soon and see how the spring goes. Look, if, if they don't come back this, this spring and by summer they're not looking healthy, then unfortunately you may need to dig them up and, and replace them. And maybe there are some steps that we could take to uh, try and eliminate the deer gnawing on them uh, next fall when, when food sources start to get a little bit scarce. But again, if it were me, I wouldn't give up on them yet. Put down some garden trust. You can also uh, try and hit them a couple of times with kickstart. Kickstart's really designed to uh, strengthen the roots and, and allow the plants to absorb more nutrition, uh, more minerals up through the soil. So uh, again, that, that never hurts any of your plants, but get down some garden trust and then put down some, some Kickstart a couple of times. And then again, by early summer, if they're not looking like they're coming back, then we may need to consider replacing them. So the next two questions are actually about Japanese stilt grass. So we're gonna combine them. The first question is from Darren. Hey Tim, still grass is encroaching on my front lawn. What's the best remedy? And the next question is from James. Hey Tim, when do I put down dimension so the Japanese still grass won't germinate? 
All right, gentlemen. Well, Japanese stilt grass is a tough little weed. And believe me, we get a lot of emails about Japanese stilt grass. So let's first talk about putting down dimension. Now, as you guys know, dimension is a pre-emergent. And so the concept is, again, you put it down before the weeds germinate and start to grow. Dimension creates that chemical barrier on the soil surface that we've often talked about, and it will actually prevent those, those new weeds from breaking through to the soil surface. Now, here's the kicker though. Japanese stilt grass germinates weeks before crabgrass. So you actually need to, to get dimension down really, really soon uh, to help prevent that Japanese stilt grass from, from growing. Now, if we miss that window, or maybe we just miss a couple of areas and the stilt grass does start to grow, what we recommend is Bio Advance Extreme Crabgrass Killer. It actually lists Japanese stilt grass as something that it will kill, but I'll be honest with you, it, it's a tough little weed. So when you apply it, you are really gonna have to apply it. And I wouldn't just trust one application. I would plan on putting it down at least two times. Again, read the label, uh, follow the, the instructions in terms of how often uh, and, and the duration in between when you can apply it. Uh, but again, you're gonna wanna put down dimension right now or very, very soon. And again, it is in stock over at rosensonline.com. But then you also wanna try and use the Bio Advanced Extreme Crabgrass Killer in case you miss anything and it does come back and you wanna try and eradicate it. So guys, good luck. It's a tough little weed. We're here to support you any way we can. The next question is from Don. Hey Tim, do you have a lawn product that does well on the local weeds in Alexandria, Virginia? So absolutely, in fact, we've got several different products that you can use to kill a variety of weeds that are common to Virginia, Maryland, frankly, all over the, the mid-Atlantic and frankly, all over the, the, the country. Uh, but the product that we sell the most of and, and that we really, really recommend simply because of its ease of use is uh, Bonide's Weed Beater Ultra and it comes in the ready to use spray. So again, just hook it right up to your hose and go to town on your lawn. It kills uh, over 200 listed weeds. Uh, it's really amazing. I have personally used it on my lawn. I will be using it again here in the springtime. It's a great little product. Again, you can find it over on Rosen's online. That would be my number one choice though, in terms of uh, Alexandria, Virginia, and trying to eradicate the most common weeds found there. Question number six is from Merrick. Hey Tim, can you tell me which products you recommend for pre-emergent weed control when overseeding a lawn? So the answer to this question is pretty simple because we don't recommend that you use pre-emergent or grass seed at the same time ever. Pre-emergents actually create a chemical barrier that's gonna prevent your grass seed from growing. So what you have to do is actually choose. Do you want the grass to grow and then put the pre-emergent down? Or do you want to put the pre-emergent down and then wait for the grass to, 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 to put the grass down a couple of weeks later? And actually it's gonna be more like 60, 60 to 70 days later that you can put it down. Here's what we recommend. Put down a uh, gallery and dimension now get that down and try and prevent some of those weeds from germinating. And then worry about overseeding in the fall. Why? Well, it's actually a better time of year to overseed in the fall anyway. So let's get the pre-emergence down now and worry about seeding in the fall. Again, if, if you don't wanna follow that advice, I, I understand everybody has their own needs and their own schedules and, and things like that, but here's, here's what you then have to choose. If you put grass down now, you cannot put down the pre-emergent until that new grass seed starts to grow. And frankly, I would recommend waiting until you can mow it. Well, by the time that that grass seed germinates, starts growing and you can mow it, uh, weeds have already germinated and they've already started coming up. So any dimension and gallery that you put down towards the, the, the later portion of spring or, or maybe even early summer, it's not gonna do any good. Uh, likewise, if you put down uh, the the pre-emergent now, you put down dimension, you put down gallery, you can't seed for at least 60 days. Uh, 90 is probably even, even a little bit safer of a bet. So even if you wait that period, that's gonna put you uh, a lot closer or, or really right into summer, which is not when you wanna plant grass. So again, if it were me, put down your, your dimension, put down your gallery right now, and then look to the fall to overseed. 
The next question is from Rob. Hey Tim, when can I prune my crepe myrtle tree? All right, so real easy answer to this question. If you are pruning off dead or diseased branches, you wanna do that as soon as you notice it. So regardless of the time of year, you wanna get that branch uh, or those branches lopped off. Now, if you're actually uh, pruning them for size and shape or anything like that, you really need to do it when the tree is dormant. Unfortunately, uh, we're hitting that time of year where uh, some of these trees are gonna start budding. So again, if there are no buds on the tree yet, you can go ahead and, and safely prune it. If you are noticing those buds, then again, I would let it go and I, and I wouldn't touch it unless of course you, you see a dead branch or uh, some type of disease is, is starting to affect the tree. The last question for the day is from Teresa. Hey Tim, how many bags of tree and shrub fertilizer do I need for 14 nine foot tall emeralds and for 15 15 foot tall green giants? So I'm not just gonna tell you how much to put down, I'm actually gonna show you how to calculate it for this particular example and any examples you guys may have in the future. So let's have some fun and do some math. So Plant Trust calls for two ounces of dry fertilizer per one foot of height. Now you said that you have 14 emeralds and they're each nine feet tall. So we multiply 14 times nine and that gives us 126 feet. Now of that, we then need to multiply two ounces per one foot, which gives us 252 ounces needed for your emeralds. Now we apply the same logic to your green giants. You have 15 of them, they are 15 feet tall, 15 times 15 is 225 feet. You multiply that times two ounces and you get 450 ounces. So you take 252 ounces, add it to 450 ounces, and that gives you 702 ounces. Now we know that there are 16 ounces in one pound, so take 702, divide it by 16, and that actually gives you 44 pounds of product. Well, Plant Trust comes in 15 pound bags, so to make sure that you've got enough, you're gonna wanna actually order three bags of Plant Trust, so you'll have about 45 pounds of dry fertilizer to fertilize these plants. All right, just a couple final thoughts here. It's March 15th, which means it is time to get down your Turf Trust lawn fertilizer and your uh, Turf Trust broadleaf weed control with gallery and in some parts of the country it's also time to get your dimension down so two things the first head over to rosen's online and take advantage of our turf trust triple play it's back in stock we have the fertilizers we have gallery and we have dimension and remember that it comes in a 5,000 square foot package as well as a 10,000 square foot package so get whatever combination you need there to take care of your lawn the second thing to remember is because of the way these products work, you can actually apply them at the same time. So again, if you're in an area where you need to get dimension down right now because of, of the weather, so what I'd recommend is put down your fertilizer in the first pass, in the second pass, put down your broadleaf weed control, and in your third pass, you can put down dimension. It's safe to put down and apply in the same day. But again, timing wise, it's really gonna depend on, on where you are in the country. You definitely wanna get the, the gallery and the, the fertilizer down right now. You may be able to wait a couple of weeks on dimension, again, just depending on, on the weather and what you see your lawn doing. Folks, again, thank you so much for spending the time with us today. We really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. God bless.